There are three things that make it very, very difficult to understand a PDA child's behavior. And I'm gonna outline them here. The first is that while we're usually focused on observable behaviors like meltdown, screaming, lying, manipulating, what's actually going on for our children is internalized threat response, which is not always visible. Okay, so every time their neuroception, which is a subconscious and automatic process, perceives losses of autonomy and equality, they experience internally that panic response, even if you don't see it. Okay, the second is that this impact of every time their nervous system perceives danger is cumulative over time. So often when we see these big behaviors, it's because it's what happened right before it, like a sound or you saying the word wrong or you asking a direct question is, is actually not the cause, it's the straw that broke the camel's back. And then third, PDA children are often quite high masking and so you don't necessarily see, again, the threat response, but they're imitating neurotypical behavior of other children and they're internalizing that threat response in situations their brain does not perceive as safe, like school or with grandparents. So it's super confusing.